चैप्टर वन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड पार्ट टू टॉपिक डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स मिलियंस ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स प्रेजेंट ऑन अर्थ करेंटली वन पॉइंट सेवन टू वन पॉइंट एट मिलियंस ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर डिस्कवर्ड वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलियंस ऑफ स्पीशीज ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड पॉइंट फाइव फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव मिलियंस ऑफ स्पीशीज ऑफ प्लांट्स हैव स्टडीड एवरी ईयर अबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर डिस्कवर्ड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू स्टडी ऑल ऑफ दैम सो बायोलॉजिस्ट हैव डिसाइडेड टेक्निक्स टू स्टडी दैम सो द टेक्निक्स आर द फॉलोइंग the first one systematics systematics is the branch of science that deals with the diversity of organisms and all their comparative and evolutionary relationship term systematics coined by carlos linus it involves study on the basis of comparative anatomy physiology biochemistry ecology anatomy means internal structure of organism physiology mean study of functions of body biochemistry the chemistry which used in daily life ecology ecology means relationship among different organisms john ray coined the term species for morphologically similar organism and also try to differentiate between genus and species this is the important question that john ray coined the term species the term monocotyledonous and the dicotyledonous is also coined by john ray so these are the important points the next one carlos ninus carlos ninus was swedish naturalist or often referred to as father of taxonomy he published his book systema naturae and described 4326 species of animals species plantarum published on 1753 and contain description of 590 species of plants now the next one cladistics it classifies organisms according to historical order or evolutionary branches this lead the emergence of new systematics or biosystematics new systematics which often known as new systematics or biosystematics it is a concept of systematic systematics plus genetics concept of new systematics was developed by sir julian huxley in 1940 so the next one is taxonomy branch of science that deals with the study of principles and procedures of biological classification is called taxonomy so study of principles procedure of biological classification called taxonomy taxonomy is of two type cytotaxonomy chemotaxonomy cytotaxonomy use of cytological character of plant in classification or in solving taxonomic problems is called cyton taxonomy so use of cytological characters in taxonomy is called cytotaxonomy the next chemotaxonomy based on chemical constituents of plants 
basic chemical compounds which are used in chemotaxonomy are alkaloids, keratinoids, tannins, polysaccharide, nucleic acid, fatty acid and amino acid and aromatic compound etc. These are the compounds which used in chemotaxonomy or chemical taxonomy. Basics of classification which form the base of classifications are characterization, identification, nomenclature and classification. So the first one characterization process of describing characteristics of an organism like external and internal structure like cellular organization etc the next one identification process of recognizing organism from already known organisms character on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities is termed as identification so recognizing of organism from already known organism is called identification on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities classification process by which any organism is grouped into convenient category on the basis of easily observable character process of grouping organ grouping of organism into convenient category on the basis of easily observable character here easily observable character means which uh, anyone can easily observe the next one nomenclature naming of organism according to international scientific rules is called nomenclature naming of an organism according to international scientific rules is called nomenclature names are of two type given by commoners which are called common names or vernacular names common names or vernacular names change according to place place by place and the second one which are scientific names which are given by scientist these are not changed by place or place basics of nomenclature trinomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature polynomial nomenclature the first one binomial nomenclature given by carlos linus a swedish naturalist father of modern taxonomy proposed scientific names of plants and animals in his book his first book hortus aplandicus and the next one philosophica philosophica protanica which was published on 1751 and the next one which was published for plants species plantarum which was published which published on the year of 1753 the next one systema naturae that book published for animals in the year of 1758 now universal rules for binomial nomenclature scientific names should be derived from latin latin language and written in italics when handwritten underlined separately generic and specific epithet first word is ge- genus name which is called generic epithet and the second name is second word of second word of the name is called specific epithet epithet or it is a species genus name starts with capital letter and species name starts with small letter other name written in abbreviated form taxonomous 
generic name and species name is same tetonymus means in a name generic name and species name is same tetonymus are not valid in plant but valid in animal nomenclature for example mangifera mangifera name for mango which is a wrong name because tetonymus are not valid in plants but naja naja which is a name for indian cobra is absolutely correct because tetonymus are allowed in plants nomenclature the next one antonyms same species and subspecies name are not valid in plant nomenclature but valid in animal for example homo sapiens sapiens here subspecies and species name are same so it is a absolutely correct name so that's it for this video thank you